When it's a beautiful day, you take a selfie. When you're at a great event, you take a selfie. A selfie is what you take nowadays. But the Laurel Museum is asking you to go one step further. Send them the selfie and they'll preserve your family's history. The museum wants the community to send digital pictures and a little about themselves to be put on display. So far, less than a dozen people have sent photos. Museum officials hope more will be on the way. Debbie Frederick is sharing her story about the community she loves. I've lived here 35 years. I haven't moved yet. The schools are very important to me. My kids were raised here. I have three, the oldest 35. Um, all raised here in Laurel, educated here in Laurel, very good education. That was very important to me. Unlike Debbie, Rebecca Guandique is new to Laurel. Guandique says the community is growing in diversity and she wants to document that for the museum. The Hispanic population, you know, we're growing. You know, we're everywhere. You know, we work as a team. And if there's like activities like the Main Street Festival, uh, we will come and see, and also we also participated in my old church, Church of God. We won like first place maybe three times in the festival. I am a proud owner um, on, of a beauty salon, uh, Streaks Hair Designs. I've been on uh, Main Street for 11 years. A lot of people want to know why my salon is not open on Saturday, because it is the Sabbath. That's the day Jesus wanted um, us to worship him and to stop your day of rest, you know, stop whatever you do and um, honor and worship him. If you would like to be a part of Laurel's history, submit a selfie and your story to the Laurel Museum. Send it to info at laurelhistoricalsociety.org. For Laurel TV, I'm Tamika Smith.